Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to show you how to build this wooden house inside of Minecraft. Now this build is as wooden as it can get. All of the main building blocks are made out of various wood types. Obviously there are some blocks that aren't wooden, such as the lanterns and shrubbery on the outside of the house, as well as the survival items on the inside, which we should maybe take a very quick tour of before starting the tutorial here. On the bottom level we have our storage room plus a full 30 level enchanting setup. On the second level we have the bedroom which includes some of the workstation blocks hidden away in the ceiling and lastly is the smelting room up on the top level which of course is filled with furnaces. So let's take a quick look at the materials list for this build and then we can get started. Fair warning, you may want to grab your best axe to gather all of these resources. Once you've found a nice spot to build the house in, the first thing you're going to do is place down four oak logs just as I have here. This longer gap is seven blocks long, the shorter gap is five blocks long. So basically you're making a rectangle five by seven. And once you've got these in position, we're then just going to pick the side that we want to be the front of the house, which is one of these five block long sections. And we're just going to stick a spruce door in the middle just to mark where the front of the house is going to be. We can then grab some more oak logs and we're going to place down three more on top of all of the logs we've already placed down. So we have some four block high pillars. And then on the bottom of all of those logs, we're going to place some oak trap doors on the outside of the log. So just make sure you place them all on the outside of the block, not on the inside. Next up, we can place two upside down spruce stairs on the top block of all of these pillars, just as I am here, making sure they're both facing out opposite ways, just like that. Then we're going to come to the front of the house and we're going to place down two slabs next to those stairs, then two spruce trap doors and another slab in the middle. We're also going to do the same around the back here, so two slabs, two trap doors and then another slab in the center. Then we're going to come around to the right hand side of the build, so facing the front, move around to the right hand side. We're going to have two slabs, same as we did around the front. And then we're going to have a spruce plank, just like that, with a spruce stair in front of it. And a spruce trap door underneath the plank block. Then we're going to have one, two and three spruce slabs in the middle. One more in the center here and then two more spruce trap doors. Now we're going to come back round to the front of the house here and we're just going to step inside and we're going to place down one, two, three and four barrels next to both of the pillars, making sure you can see the front face of all of those barrels so that from the outside we get the back texture. Then next to the door here we just want to place down one, two, three and four strip spruce logs on both of the sides and then just above the doorway we're going to have an upside down spruce stair and another log here in the center. So from the inside it looks like this, from the outside it looks like this. A little bit plain at the moment. So what we're going to do in front of the barrels here and you will have to crouch to place some of these blocks, we're going to have two composters and two azalea leaves on top of both of those just for some outside bushes. Then next to the doorway here we're going to have two oak fences on either side just to make a little bit of an awning here with some campfires across the top there which of course we want to go ahead and extinguish with our shovel. So that is this part all done, we're now going to move around to the right hand side and we're going to do a similar thing with the barrels, so just place four of them facing inwards next to the corner pillars, just like that. And next to those barrels we're going to place down four oak logs, just like we have for the corners. In the center here we're going to have four strip spruce logs next to the oak logs, but then we're going to switch over to our strip spruce wood, the same as the log but with the same texture on all six sides. We're going to have one at the bottom here, two glass panes and then another one at the top. Once again the outside here is looking pretty plain so what we're going to do next to this window is have a coarse dirt in front with something on top of it as a flower pot. Then we're going to stick an oak trap door on the front, two upside down oak stairs either side of it just like that with two oak fences on top of those then one, two and three oak slabs. 
As for around the back of the build here, once again, we're going to place our barrels all facing inwards. And by the way, if you haven't figured it out, this is going to be the main storage for the base. So you can access all of these from the inside. In the center here, we're going to have some more strip spruce logs just going up like this. Then we're going to have one in the center and then one here at the top. We don't need these type of logs as we're going to be covering them up with some spruce trap doors just like that. And behind the trap doors, if you just crouch when you place it on them, we're going to have two oak trap doors. So from the inside looks like this and then the outside should look like this. What we can do in the front of this middle section is place three coarse dirt with three spruce trap doors in front of them. And then either side, we're going to have some more azalea plant pots. Again, not forgetting to crouch whilst you place those down. And as you may have guessed, plant something in the flower bed. Over here on the left hand side, we're going to be making a little bit of an extension. So we're going to start off with three composters just next to the corner pillars. Then we're going to have some more corner pillars next to those composters. So once again, four blocks high with some oak trap doors on the outside of the block, just like that. Then we're going to have another composter here and here. Leave these three gaps for now. With that done, we can now grab some spruce stairs, slabs and trap doors and we're going to start on this side right here by placing down two upside down stairs and then a line of slabs in the middle. Next to these, we can have a stair just like this facing outwards with an upside down stair, a spruce trap door in front and on top. And then we're going to have a stair on top of that one crouching whilst you place it and then another upside down stair just like that. And super quickly, we can do the same round here too. And just like that, the outline to this small section of the roof is done. As for filling in the roof, we just want to grab some oak slabs and on the bottom level here, we're just going to have a line of seven all the way across. Then from the top of that spruce stair, we're going to have another line of seven. And then lastly, we're going to have one more just above where that top stair is. Super quick, we also want to go ahead and actually place a spruce trap door on top of that final stair. Now we can start work on the smaller sides here. So what we need to do is probably easier to step inside for this part is place down one, two, three stripped oak logs and then one, two, three and four over on this side. Then if we just step outside, we're going to have another log underneath this block with an upside down stair here a regular stair on the bottom and a glass pane in the middle. This can then be copied round to the other side too. As for this side round here, we're going to place down three stripped oak logs on top of the composters and then three more across the top right here. We then want to have a spruce stair in both of the top corners, a spruce trap door in the middle and two just like that on either side flapped upwards. We're then going to step inside right here and we're going to have one, two, three oak planks either side of it and then an upside down oak stair in the middle with an oak door right here. That is pretty much the bottom section of the house all done. So we can start moving up to the next level now. And the first thing we're going to do on top of all of these outer spruce upside down stairs on the corners, we're just going to add in two barrels facing upwards just as I am here. So with those placed down, it should look something a little bit like this. Then what you can do on top of all of those barrels crouching once you place the first one, we're just going to place in three strip dark oak logs. Just like that. The next step is to build this in all four of the corners. So where we have the two pillars in each of the corners, this is what you want to make. Don't worry, I've left this one over here so I can show you how to do it. The first thing is to place a spruce plank on this top block here, just in between those two with a spruce slab underneath. And then we're going to have a spruce trap door on top of that plank. We then need to have a stair here and here either side of the spruce plank with an upside down one just in front of both of those. The very last thing to do is to add two spruce trap doors going into that bottom slab. On the two longer sides here, we want to add a line of spruce slabs going across from one stair to the other. And then on this upside down stair, we're going to have a spruce trap door and then just alternate between a trap door and no trap door all the way across. 
Then from this log, we're going to have two slabs on either side, then a stair on both of those and three more slabs in the middle. And this is what you need to do around the other side here, as I've already done. To build the roof outline around the back of the house here, we're going to start off on either of these stairs and place in a regular stair, then an upside down stair for two, then the same again, three and four, and then the fifth one just on the top there. So a very simple staircase going all the way up. We can do that on the other side over here too, and then we should be left with a single block in the middle where we can have an upside down stair just like that. On top of that stair, we can have a spruce trap door, then a slab, then another trap door, and then another slab, and just stop right there for now. You can also go ahead and do the same for the front of the house here. However, we need to make one minor tweak to this roof outline, and that is to come in the inside here, and we're just gonna place down one, two, three, and four upside down stairs, just like that. So from the inside, it should look like this, and from the outside, like this. Just make sure you got those in the right position. One block back. Whilst we're around the front of the house here, we may as well go ahead and finish this section up. So the first thing we're gonna do is place a barrel just in the center, like that, above the spruce slab. Then either side of it, we're gonna have two coarse dirt with two oak trap doors in front of them. Of course, go ahead and place some flowers or whatever you want on the top of them. They're simply just more flower pots. And then on top of this barrel, we're gonna have some stripped dark oak logs. One, two, three, four, and five. Just stop right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab some stripped spruce logs. And just on top of these three, we're gonna have three more like that and then an oak plank either side of the outside. Then what we can do is place down two oak stairs on both of the windows just like this. So from the outside, it should look like this at the moment, just two of those stairs on the bottom. Then we wanna have an oak trap door just flipped upwards on top of them like that. And then we're gonna place down two more upside down oak stairs above them. A little bit finicky at the moment because we don't have many blocks around, but when you've got those placed down, it should look like this. Just some nice big open circular windows. And then we can grab some oak planks and just place down one, two, three, just to cover up that top part so we can't see through. And then we can grab some spruce fence gates and we're just gonna have two either side of the log there in the middle. And then in front of this log, we're gonna have one, two chains and then a lantern hanging down from below. Now we can just come round to the back of the build here and we're gonna do this section. And we're gonna start off by placing two barrels upwards, not like that. We want them facing upwards on top of those oak trap doors. And on the remaining three blocks, we're gonna have some stripped oak logs. On top of the barrels, we wanna place some stripped dark oak logs and we just wanna bring them all the way up until we can't see to the inside anymore. So that is five in total, I believe. Yep, five on both of those. Then we just wanna to come to the front here and we're gonna have three oak stairs just like that with two oak trap doors on either side and then two in the center here for a bit of a taller window going with the roof outline. Above the trap doors, we're gonna have some upside down oak stairs, just like that. And then lastly, for the wood blocks, we're just gonna add in one, two, and then three stripped oak logs. So from the outside, it should look like this. The finishing touch is to add yet another lantern with a chain above it. Now coming round to the left hand side of the build where we have the extension over here, we're gonna start off with a horizontal line of stripped dark oak logs all the way across that bottom row. And then either side on the corners, we're just gonna have two oak planks. Then we're gonna have two stripped oak logs either side of them, and then one more in the center. We then wanna stick an oak plank here and here with two slabs on top of those logs. And lastly, three spruce buttons on top of the log blocks. For the final side here, we're gonna start off with two more barrels, one block away from the corner barrels, and we're gonna add some stripped dark oak logs on top of those, just three like that. And then we also wanna have three horizontally across the top like that. We're then gonna have two oak planks on these two spots with two oak stairs on the bottom, and then for some windows, we're gonna have two oak trap doors, just like that. 
to build the balcony, we're going to start off by placing down three lecterns here facing towards us in the middle. They make for a pretty good railing design. As you can see, the back looks pretty good. However, we do want to cover up the front and the top because right now it just looks like some lecterns. So we're just going to place three spruce trap doors on the front and then three more on top, just like that. So we're just left with the back of the lectern. We're then going to add in two strip spruce logs either side of it with a spruce slab on top and very simply two oak buttons on either side of the logs. So those are the walls all finished. What we need to do now is build the roof and the first thing we're going to do is grab some strip dark oak wood. So like the logs but the same texture on all six sides like we use down here with the spruce. And the first thing we're going to do is just place three of them here on all four corners of the roof, if you want to call it that. Basically, wherever we got one of these spruce stairs, we're going to be placing one of these in into it. So just when you're placing it, make sure you're actually clicking on the spruce stair. Then what we can do on the bottom log here is just have a full line of stripped dark oak logs going all the way across on both of the sides like this. So at the moment we should have something that looks like this on both of the sides. And then for these two lines we're very simply just going to add in two like that to take us across to the same point as we stopped on top. So just four more on this side and four more over here. So right now this is our stopping point. What we can then do is grab a spruce trap door and we're just going to put it on top of the log here behind where we have that spruce stair on both of the sides. And then lastly we're going to have one, two, three buttons just like that in the center of these log spaces. And we're going to do that on both sides of the roof as well. So at the moment we're just left with a hole in the roof which of course we're not going to be leaving like that we're going to be making another extension of sorts the final part of the exterior. So the first thing we need to do is just hop on the inside here and in front of this log we're going to place down all of these spruce stairs upside down so one two three four five six seven and eight of those on both of the sides. We've just placed them down now so that we're able to place down the strip spruce logs which are going to be going in those four spots. So we've got all of them and we're going to make them five blocks high. So we've got one, two, three, four, five and we're just going to do that for all four of the corners just like so to add in the pillars of what's going to be the next section. We do just quickly need to grab some oak trap doors and on this center block here so the third one up we're just going to place down two of those oak trap doors on the outside of those pillar blocks. Now we're just going to start on the roof outline for this small section of the build. So we're going to start on the front face of the house so facing where our main doorway is we're just going to place down one, two, three, four, and five spruce stairs like that. And we're also going to add two more on either side like so. Underneath those outer blocks we can have some spruce trap doors. Then we're going to leave a gap and place in two more just like so. We can very quickly do that round the other side here. So just seven of those stairs with four of the trap doors underneath. Making sure they've all got one block apart. The next thing we can do is place down some upside down stairs on the back of those regular stairs on the front and the back of this section of the roof. And we're basically just going to staircase our way up like we did for the section below. So there should be one, two and three and they should meet in the middle where we can have an upside down stair. And then we can do the same very quickly over on this side too. On the top of the roof here we're going to have ourselves two spruce stairs facing inwards and then we're going to have two more again leaving us with one block in the middle where we can have a full spruce plank. Coming forwards we're going to have a spruce slab and then a spruce trap door. Same again over on this side so at the moment it should look like this a little bit of a plush shape if you will. And on the back of this stair we're going to have another upside down stair and one more over here. And then just to make the final point we're going to have a spruce trap door in front of it and two more on top. So this is what we should end up with and we're going to do that over here too. Now very simply we just need to fill in these sections of the roof. This side and this side over here. So what we're going to do to start us off with we're going to place down three planks just along that section right there in line with the top of those logs. 
and then we're going to place down two stripped oak logs on those two spots and we're going to have two oak stairs here and here facing outwards. We're going to have two more oak stairs just next to those spruce stairs like that and you should see it curves around to the side and very simply we're just going to have another one here and another one here. Lastly we need an upside down stair here under the trap door and then an oak trap door for a window and then you can copy what we've just done there round to this side too. Now we can come to these taller sections right here and this is going to be the same for both of the sides so you can copy it around afterwards but we're going to start off with a stripped oak log on the bottom and two oak planks either side of it. Then in the middle we're going to have an oak stair and two more full planks either side. Then two stripped oak logs and two glass panes in the centre. Two more full oak planks just like that. And then we're going to have an upside down stair above the glass panes. Not a full plank. There we go. And lastly we're going to have a stripped oak log on the very top in the centre. So we get this pattern right here. We do just quickly want to add in a shutter, so what we're going to do is place down a temporary block here with a spruce trap door in front of it and then one just below like that. And if we just flip that open, we should be able to crouch and place down two signs on the back just like that. So once you've got that built for both of the longer sides right here, all we need to do for the remaining two sides very simply is have three planks across the bottom, one here on both of the sides and then a slab in the middle, leaving us with a very small window. And then you can go ahead and build the same thing on the other side around the front of the house here and we can hop down to the bottom because just like that we are all done with the exterior of the build. We can now head inside and start work on the interior. So the first thing we're going to do inside of here is grab some stripped spruce logs and just next to the oak logs here we're going to add four of those just like that. Then we're going to grab some oak planks first of all and underneath all of these dark oak logs we're going to add in five of those. Then we can grab two oak slabs and we're going to add them here and here and then we're going to have some full planks along the top and then we just want to grab some more slabs and we're just going to cover this section up right here by placing down ten of those. Next up we're going to grab some more stripped spruce logs and just above these oak trap doors, above the logs we already have placed down, we're going to have three more, just so it's similar to what we have around the front. Then what we can do on this central log here is have a line of dark oak planks going all the way across from one side to the other. Then we can have some dark oak slabs just up by half a block. This is so we get a bit of height change in the ceiling design because then on the next block across we're going to have just some regular dark oak planks just like this on both of the sides. That way you can see the ceiling kind of goes up and down a little bit. It's just a little bit better than having it be completely flat. So once you've got all of that placed down, next thing we need to do is place in a full block here with a dark oak stair upside down just like that. Eventually we're going to have a staircase that leads to the upstairs right here. Actually, come to think about it, it's probably easiest if we build the staircase right now. So the first thing we're going to do to make this staircase next to these stripped spruce logs is place down three bookshelves just like that. Then we're going to have two bookshelves, then one bookshelf. And in front of all of these we're going to have some oak stairs taking us all the way up to the top level right here. So there should be five stairs in total and then in this corner block we're just going to stick an oak plank. We'll come up to the second level later, for right now I think we should just finish the downstairs level. The first thing we're going to do down here is just place a lantern with a chain above it on this spot right here. So on this stretch of dark oak planks right in the middle block just so we can actually light this place up a little bit. The next thing we need to do is very simply break every single block that we can see on show on the floor here. The doors are going to pop off when you do that but it's okay we will replace them very shortly. 
With all of the blocks on the floor now broken, the first thing we're going to do is complete our enchanting setup. So we're going to go ahead and break these three blocks below those bookshelves and we're going to place down three more just like that. Three more here to the right, three more here to the left and three more over here. And that right there is 15 bookshelves all going into this enchanting table. We can also go ahead and place down two oak planks on those corner blocks just to make it nice and square. We do want to go ahead and get rid of the blocks in the floor of the enchanting table though and we're just going to replace it with some stripped oak logs all facing the same direction so it's nice and connected like that and you don't have an off one making it look a little bit weird. However, with the actual floor design, we are going to purposefully make it not all going straight in the same direction. So the first one is going to be placed like that. And then we're going to have the next one on the other side. And we basically just want to rotate that and keep switching back and forth all the way down. Now we have a bit more room, so it gets a slight bit complicated. But it's okay. The rule of this floor pattern is always placing the log on the side of the log, never on the front. So if you just continue that, always placing it on the side. And when you've got something like this, just make sure you're not placing it on the front. You should end up with a pretty funky floor pattern. Of course, if this isn't to your liking, just place them all in the same way, but I personally really like the look of this. Oh, and of course, go ahead and replace your doors back down. Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab two upside down oak stairs and place them there, either side of this window, with a slab in the middle, and then we're going to have three oak fences on top of the stairs. We're going to place a flower pot just on top of that slab right there. Then we're going to come over to this section where we have our extension and the oak door. On the left hand side of the door we're going to have a crafting table and an ender chest on top. And then over to the right hand side we're going to have a stone cutter, a very helpful block in survival. Just behind here in front of the bookshelves we're going to have a double chest here. In fact we're going to have two of them and then we're going to have a single chest here and another single chest here. Just for a bit of excess storage if the barrels here aren't enough. Something you can do here with the storage is give yourself a bit of a labeling system by placing some item frames next to all of the barrels here. Now this may not be to your liking because it can make the downstairs here look a little bit messy because we just have the item frames plastered all over the walls. But if you are actually living in here and storing all of your items, it's going to help you locate them a little bit better because of course you can place some items inside of them to show what is in the barrel next to it. The final things we need to place down here on the bottom level are a grindstone just above the trapdoor hanging from the ceiling and then an anvil down here on the bottom underneath the trapdoor. And last but not least, we're just going to have a painting over there in that corner because, well, why not? So now we can come up here to the second level and the first thing we're going to do is actually break this block here, the spruce stair that's upside down underneath that log the side where we have the staircase and we're just going to bring this one down all the way until we're on the floor. Now what we need to do is cover this up a little bit and make a railing next to the staircase. So the first thing we're going to do is place down one, two and then three oak trap doors surrounding the pillar and we're going to place one more here in line with this trap door. Then we're going to place a trap door here on the back of that log one more over here and then if we just place in a temporary block right here and place another one we can have three trap doors on the back of these blocks so it makes for a nice little railing actually we can go ahead and add one more there we go now we've got a complete railing we're not going to fall down the stairs and we can pretty easily get back up the last thing we need to do for now is to just place down a chain here with a lantern down from below. Next up we're going to go ahead and grab a strip dark oak log and on the front side here we're just going to add five more of those blocks just behind the pillar that's already there. So just five more logs just like that. Then what we can do underneath these oak planks on both of the sides is have some upside down strip spruce uh, just regular spruce stairs actually. I wish we had stripped spruce stairs, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Underneath those we're going to have some spruce trap doors just flicked downwards like that on both of the sides. And then on the front side here we're going to have three trap doors on the bottom. And you should be able to place a block in there, that's how you know you got the trap door placement correct. 
And for this side, first of all, we're gonna add in three spruce slabs along the back and then three spruce trap doors just in front of them. Same deal for this one. You should be able to place a full block in like that. Then in front of these stairs, we're gonna have three spruce trap doors on both of the sides. And then lastly, two spruce slabs in the center. You're gonna wanna leave the block that's above this pillar because we can place some ladders that will take us up to the third and final floor, which we'll come back to in a little bit. So behind these trap doors is where we're gonna be having some utility blocks. On one of the sides, we're gonna be having a smithing table, loom and cartography table. And on the other side, because there's not really anything else to add there, just some barrels for extra storage, maybe even some hidden storage. But if you wanna change the barrels out for something else, please feel free to. So on one of these, as I said, we're gonna be placing down the smithing table, loom and cartography table. And then on the other side, just for now, unless you wanna do anything different, just place down three barrels like that and cover them up. Finally, for this clip, we're just gonna stick a temporary block here with a painting on that log. At the moment, the floor is pretty incomplete, so we do need to finish that up. The first thing we're gonna do over here in this corner, just place down two full dark oak planks. Then in these two corners, we're just gonna have one, two, and three, just like that in a clear line. And then in the middle here, we're gonna have some dark oak stairs that will take us down to the balcony so we can gaze out onto the beautiful, beautiful world. Now, what we need to do is just place some stuff in the corners here. So over in this corner, we're gonna have a crafting table with a lantern on top of it. That's just to the left-hand side of the balcony. Then over here is what we actually need to do is place down some strip dark oak logs just like that so that it's flush with the windows here. Forgot about that bit earlier. So now what we can do, we've got those in place, is place down a scaffolding block with a flower pot on top on the left hand side here. And over on the right hand side here, we're just gonna have two scaffolding with a double chest for even more storage if downstairs didn't already hold enough. Now we're gonna make our bed, which is gonna go right here next to these three blocks. So the first thing we're gonna do is just place a spruce trap door here temporarily so that we're able to go into crouch mode like I am here because we actually need to place in an upside down barrel on this spot right here. So just go as close as you can without actually going over to the block. And you can see we placed in the barrel upside down and we get this nice texture on show, which is a little bit better than this one, in my opinion. We then just need to place in two more barrels horizontally. So we're gonna place in one like that and then another like that. So the outside texture, once again, is the back of the barrel. On the back of this block, we need to place in an item frame with an oak button. Now the oak button is gonna go not in the item frame, but actually on the block itself. So just crouch and place it on the barrel and then the item frame or vice versa. Then in front of these two sideways barrels, we're gonna have two spruce stairs with two spruce trap doors in front and then we can stick our bed in the center here. This will work as a respawn point because any of these three blocks are spawnable spaces. So if you die, you will come back here. The next thing we need to do is add in two spruce fences here and here with a line of spruce trap doors across the top. And lastly, just a nice little flower pot in the center there. The final thing we need to do on this level is just place down a bit of a rug on this spot right here because in my opinion, it feels a bit empty. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab our gray carpet and come to this log right here. One block away, we're gonna add in two like that. Then we're gonna have two cyan carpets. Then we're gonna have a gray carpet here and a gray carpet here and then a cyan carpet here. Of course, if you wanna change up the colors or the pattern, you're more than free to do that, but that is what I've chosen to do. It just fills in the space quite nicely. And now for the final room, the furnace room at the top of the build here. Now this is very cramped. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of space in here, but don't worry, everything works perfectly fine. You can see the front of every furnace and we can actually fit quite a lot in here, surprisingly. But the first thing I'm gonna do is just sort out the ceiling a little bit. So next to all of these oak planks, we're just gonna have some upside down spruce stairs. And then underneath the oak planks, we're gonna place some spruce trap doors. 
In the center, we're going to have a chain and a lantern hanging down from below. So that's the ceiling all done. Now we can work on the furnace placement. So if we just stand in the center of the block here, and then if we face to the two sides where we have the smaller windows, we're going to have two smokers just like that. Either side of it, we're going to have two regular furnaces. And then on top of the regular furnaces facing into each other, we're going to have two more regular furnaces. It's always helpful to have quite a few of these. So this is what we have at the moment. This is what one of the sides look like. It's the same as the other. The final thing we need to do is just add in a couple of blast furnaces because those are quite helpful too. They're just going to go above the ladder as well as on the opposite side. And just so it doesn't look like they're floating, we're going to add in a spruce trap door underneath it. The final thing we need to do for the whole build, and especially this room, is just add in a chest above both of the blast furnaces. And you can just store some smelting items or coal in here, for example. And there we go. That is the smelting room all done, which means the house as a whole is finished. So there we go, everybody. That is going to do it for this tutorial. I really hope it's helped you out and that you enjoyed watching. Thank you ever so much for doing that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.